2019 was something of a false start for foldable phones. The Samsung Galaxy Fold eventually made it out later in the year after wrestling with a few early quality issues, and Huawei's Mate X also broke cover, though without an international release. So 2020 looks to be the year foldable phones arrive in force. We've already seen the Motorola Razr, of course, and Samsung too is now getting in on this new clamshell-style form factor, with this, the Galaxy Z Flip. So let's jump into what we know so far. First, let's just get into the basic differences between the Galaxy Z Flip and its sister device, the Galaxy Fold. The Fold, as we know, is basically a foldable miniature tablet with a small external display for doing basic phone stuff. In essence, it just puts a tablet into the form factor of a large phone thanks to that foldable display. The Galaxy Z Flip, on the other hand, uses a foldable screen to make a large smartphone easier to carry around. It's a more mainstream and, dare I say it, less nerdy approach to foldables. Which means this isn't a replacement for the Galaxy Fold by any means, as we'll get to later. Instead, it's the first in a new family of foldables from Samsung. It'll be interesting to see then if the existing Galaxy Fold line will be rebranded as the Galaxy Z Fold. I think there's a decent chance that'll happen later in the year. As for the Galaxy Z Flip, though, we have plenty of information to go on, thanks to a handful of high-profile leaks in recent weeks. First, we got live shots of the phone from Chinese social media, and then more render leaks from Evan Blass and others showing the Z Flip from just about every conceivable angle. What's pretty interesting about this phone's design is how different it is compared to the new Razer, despite the similarities in form factor. Whereas Moto Channel's a retro flip phone look, Samsung uses a more uniform bezel pattern with an Infinity-O hole-punch display. It's no surprise then to see this kind of foldable sporting larger bezels than, say, a Galaxy Note 10. That's one of a few compromises that you'll see here. Foldable phones right now just have longer development lead times, and unique engineering constraints as well. That hinge takes up a lot of space, and foldable screens are also not cheap. The latest information we have on specs, largely thanks to prolific Samsung leaker Max Weinbach, points to a Snapdragon 855 processor, a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, a 3300mAh battery, 15 watt charging, and Qi wireless charging. So as you might have gathered, this thing isn't going to measure up against the Galaxy S20 in a benchmark shootout, and nor is it intended to. This is a new form factor after all, and given the expected $1,000 to $1,300 price tag, it's clear it's also not in the same ballpark as the Galaxy Fold, which sells for as much as double that. As well as that in-display selfie shooter, the Galaxy Z Flip will also reportedly feature a dual 12-megapixel rear camera setup, though it's not clear whether that'll be the newer 12-megapixel sensor with larger pixels that's used in the Galaxy S20. Given the way the rest of the spec sheet is looking, I'd bet on something closer to a Galaxy S10 or Note 10 level camera. Let's loop back and talk about that screen though, because it's a little different to what you might be expecting if you're familiar with the Galaxy Fold. This new foldable display is referred to in leaks as using Samsung Ultra Thin Glass, which should be a step up from the plasticky internal screen of the Galaxy Fold, but the thinness of this, and the fact that it's glass generally, could make the new model more vulnerable to drops and scrapes. Incidentally though, that same ultra-thin glass is rumoured to feature in Samsung's next-generation Galaxy Fold 2, and that drops sometime in the summer. Regardless of how fancy that new Samsung glass is though, the Z Flip will reportedly feature a visible crease in the centre of the display, much like other foldables. The leaked real-world photos of the new device also show us its tiny secondary display, which lives on the outside next to the camera module. In this leaked photo, the 1-inch panel is just showing the date, time, and battery level, but you could also imagine things like notification icons popping up there too. One very surprising use of this tiny screen is as a viewfinder, as originally reported by Max Weinbach. Now, of course, a tiny 1-inch OLED isn't ideal for this purpose. In fact, if you think about it, it's a little bit ridiculous. But if you're just looking for some help framing up a selfie, it could give you just enough visibility to make a difference. It's also going to be interesting to see how this foldable form factor influences photography on this device. You could easily imagine opening the Galaxy Z Flip halfway and using its right angle shape as a makeshift tripod. No doubt that's one of the many things we'll learn about the Galaxy Z Flip when it breaks cover, expected alongside the Galaxy S20 at Samsung Unpacked on February 11th. Be sure to subscribe to Android Central here on YouTube so you don't miss our hands-on coverage. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.